Hey folks, this is Jake with Seattle Coffee Gear, and today we're gonna to be doing a comparison. This comparison is gonna be a little bit different because we're gonna be comparing three different bundles. This is a semi-automatic espresso machine and a grinder that corresponds with the price point of the machine to see is more money um, as you get more expensive for the combo, is it gonna be worth it for you? Now we have full crew reviews available and the links are gonna be in descriptions below for each of these espresso machines. Um, we're just gonna be looking at some features and functionality and to see, you know, is more money gonna be worth it at the end of the day? So what we have here is the Solus Barista Perfetta semi-automatic espresso machine. Uh, we paired that with a Eureka Minion Nate. We have the Ranchilio Silvia Pro and we're gonna pair that with a Barazza Sete 270WI. And then over here, we have a Rocket Mazafiato Type V, and we're gonna pair that with a Minion XL by Eureka. Um, so what we're gonna start with is the Barista Perfetta. And the Barista Perfetta plus uh, Note combo here is gonna be under $1,000, just about um, maybe eight, $900. Um, and what you get is a pretty no frills espresso grinder. A lot of people like that, it's simple. It's just one button, uh, a stepless dial and an on off switch. You know, there's no weighing, there's no um, dosing, there's no timer, there's nothing like that. It's just a really good solid uh, stepless grinder from Eureka. It allows you infinite possibilities to dial in your grind. And you also get a pretty simple espresso machine from Solus. You get uh, a pressure gauge up front you get a uh, manual steam wand, so there's no like automated frothing or anything like that. Uh, you get three temperatures that you can choose from, low, medium, high, a relatively large water tank for the machine size, uh, pressurized, non-pressurized baskets in a 54 millimeter porta filter, and it's also compatible with a water filter. And here we have the Silvia Pro and Sete combo. So what this combo would run you is just a little bit north of $2,000. And I chose these two machines for this comparison because they are both a little bit more hands-on, dial-in. You know, they're for the type of person that really wants to get nitty gritty with the details of their espresso. The Silvia, you know, Ranchilio has been having years of experience with really reliable espresso machines. And this is their newer offering. It's dual boiler, so you don't have to wait as long between brewing and steaming, like with the classic Silvia. You have PID temperature control built in, and you also have really quick warm up times because of the smaller boiler size, um, which is similar to the original Sylvia, but you know, give it 15, 20 minutes to, to heat up for full heat saturation. You get that just reliable Ranchilio Sylvia feel to it. The parts are always really high quality, and you know it's gonna be a machine that will last you for years to come. Here's the Sete 270WI. I really like this grinder with this machine because you know, you get the PID adjustability on this machine, you get the weight adjustability on this machine, and they just go really hand in hand. Um, they both are really nice, kind of higher tech machines in this price point, and they make a really nice combination. And then what we have here is the Rocket Mazi or Mazi Fiato Type V, and a Eureka Minion XL, which is a newer addition to the Minion line. And these are gonna be a little different than this price point because this is gonna be um, just, just either north or south of $3,000, kind of depends on the day, but generally around $3,000 um, price point for these machines. You get a classic E61 group head on the rocket. You know, you get that classic steam and hot water valves here. Um, uh, you get the longevity of a rocket espresso machine, which is gonna be super long lasting. And you get the two manual gauges up front. There's no, uh, there is temperature adjustability with the PID. And with these, you also get the timer. So there is a little bit more functionality than they used to have in the past, but you still get that really heavy duty, solid feeling from an E61 machine that no machine uh, in this price point can really replicate. And then you get the Minion XL. Basically, this is a upgrade to the Minion line that Eureka just released. It's got larger burrs than the other Minion classes, larger than the Specialita even. Um, but you get the classic screen, you know, you get time dosing, single and double shots, a nice adjustable portafilter fork, and stepless uh, adjustment uh, with an updated grind knob compared to the other Minion line. So at the end of the day, you know, these are all really great combinations and they can all pull really great espresso shots. But what does that really mean? 
and which one's going to pull a better shot or any of them going to be better well i've used all these machines before and i think once you get these all dialed in they're all really good um they all can make really good espresso if you like to have a little bit easier of a time dialing in you know you're not too finicky about your temperature or your dosing or something like that then i think the solace is going to be a really good choice you know, you've got pressurized baskets to fall back onto when you're not feeling like dialing in your espresso grinder. And you've got the non-pressurized to take full advantage of the Note. If you're into a little bit more tech and you want a little bit more adjustability, I think the Silvia Pro and Sete combination is great. You know, for the price point of each of these, I think you're getting a lot of machine for your dollar. This is a, not a cheap combo, definitely. At $2,000, you know, that's a lot for an espresso machine and grinder. But you get Ranchilio Silvia quality, and Brazza has great quality, great reputation as well, with you know really accurate weighing on the sete, and really adjustable and high quality shot pulling on the Silvia. You know you can't go wrong. And then at three thousand dollars, what you're really looking at is kind of more of a statement plus performance. You know you get a lot of chrome on these machines, bright shiny chrome on both the grinder and the Rocket Espresso machine. You get the E61 group head, you get that classic reliability, and you get to pull a lever for your shots, which is sometimes uh, a really nice feeling in the morning. This machine is going to pull great shots once you get the grinder dialed in. It's going to pull them consistently, reliably, and time after time because you have a larger boiler, or actually a heat exchanger, than you do with these two machines. Now, the Type V cannot be plumbed in, neither can any of these machines. So, you know, if you want to plumb it in, it's going to be a little bit more with the Type R, but for a home espresso machine set up at a premium price point. This is pretty good and you get the nice compact grinder. Uh, not too large of a machine actually. The Rocket is a little bit shorter than this Sylvia here, uh, but a little bit deeper. And you know, you get a lot of machine for your money with any of these, but I, I do think this is the, you know, if you're making espresso every single morning or you want it to just be the talking point of your kitchen, a super good combo to have. So like I said, this is the simple choice, you know, let's make some espresso in the morning. I want to get more into espresso. Brice Profeta, Note, awesome. You like a little bit more tech, Sylvia Pro Sete 270, really great. And, you know, if you want the fashion statement in your kitchen, plus a great performing espresso machine, go with the Rocket and Minion XL and you can't go wrong. Um, you know, you definitely get more for what you pay for with these machines. But between the different budgets, it's, it's almost like it's a different style of how you want your espresso rather than, you know, more uh, performance for your dollar. Because they're all going to pull great shots at the end of the day. So I want to thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below if you have any questions for us. And we'll see you next time.